G'day, Ryan Jimbo here, coming to you in a post Gary the Go world. Yep, he's dead, and uh, I'm fucking dealt with it, dealing with it, and uh, so should you if you go, fuck, where's the goat? He's dead. Anyway, um, another thing on this page is um, I'm sorry I can't get my teeth done and fucking hair transplant and makeup and um, be coming to you via reading a teleprompter telling you if you don't believe in the current status, if you don't believe in the current fucking status quo of the world, you're the fucking idiot. <laughs> um, anyway, speaking of current status quo, I'm running this truck off used vegetable oil. A lot of people fucking know about this, right? I just get fucking used vegetable oil from pubs and I just fucking put it in a, um, put it through one of those coal bags, which you can get for a buck, you know, Woolies bags or supermarket bags. Not the plastic bags, but I strain it through there and just turn the pump on, goes in there, and it runs off used vegetable oil for free, free fuel. Anyway, had a bit of trouble with the truck the other day. Uh, glow plugs and a um, bit of an uh, electrical problem on the return line, nothing to do with the veg oil. And this great mechanic came out, and um, he was into what I, what I do. He sort of went, fuck, that's weird. And, uh, but he'd heard about biodiesel before and he'd heard about people running off used vegetable. I, this is not biodiesel. I don't mix this stuff with anything like biodiesel, just straight used vegetable oil. I just filter it to get the fucking chili and the condoms out. That's it. And it goes into an old diesel engine and it can bust. Anyway, I said to him, fucking he's fixing it up. He goes, mate, I've seen it all. I said to him, mate, how about the holy grail of fuel? cars that run on water right now I've heard a lot anecdotally about it, about it. I know a guy who does it or there's all around the country it's like yowie sightings there's there's a, there's a lot of people who talk about it well I've never actually met someone who actually does it a few people contacted me on the net um, one guy in Victoria has contact me if if, if you remember if you see this because I've lost your details um, so I asked the mechanic guy what and he goes mate I, I have actually seen a guy do it on a motorcycle but it was back when I was a teenager before I was a mechanic and I was asking him about it but he can do it now if you look up the standard sites about using a water for fuel they say that basically um, the energy you're basically getting H2O and then converting it into HHO so hydrogen is a very powerful energy source but all the status quo things basically say the energy to split or change H2O into HHO is equal to the energy that you get out of it. Whereas a lot of people are saying, no, no, you can do it. I don't know exactly how to do it, but from what I've heard, you do it via a battery. So you put the water in and you use this battery to split the HHO. And then you also use the exhaust to loop around into the system and that helps a chemi chemical reaction. Yeah, I really don't know much about it, but that's the general gist of it, right? And there's a whole lot of people going, oh, well, you can run a bit, 25%, 75%, right up to 100%, but a lot of people go, no, you just need, you need a spark, like in, in an engine, a spark plug to kick it over. I normally run this on diesel just to start it. It's in the fuel line overnight. So I use up a tiny bit of diesel. Not, not, it's not really necessary up here because it's so hot, but mainly when I get down to Victoria. Anyway, so... This guy reckoned he could do it, and he goes, yeah, I'm going to look into it when I get time. Like, fuck, when we get time, we all go to our projects that we want to do. And I thought, I'd just put this out on the net, just to see, is there anyone out there who knows anything about running an engine on water? Now, there's a lot of conspiracies out there that, theories, which I could understand is a practice, that say, basically, if you're running water off fuel and you work it out, you're going to be fucking killed, man. I don't give a fuck. But, um... Yeah, it's basically, who could, I mean, it's a, it's a credible theory because if you could run water into fuel and just get around, all, not so much services, but all goods have got fuel prices factored into them. So if you could run something off water, just pour water in, all, all prices would come down. Like it'd just annihilate the current economic system. Interest rates would go below zero and we'd have a resource economy and we'd have two days off a week because we wouldn't have to fucking pay for fuel and everything would be cheaper and things would be possibly within our within our control. That's the thing about uh, renewable energy, it's decentralised. That's the last thing they want is a decentralised energy source. So 
all the big fuel companies fucking just, you know, buy out all the renewables and then jack their prices up and blame it on renewables. I don't know, but um, so what I'm basically saying, I'm just using this page to go, is there anyone out there who knows how to create fuel out of water? Just send in the formulas or just send in any leads. I know there's going to be a whole lot of people going, no, nah, it's fucking not right and fucking whatever, man. It mightn't be right, but I'm just putting this out there to see if anyone can do it and to send it in and then we can get all the backyard tinkerers from this site to actually come up and create this and see if fucking, you know, we all get killed. Maybe that's why Gary got killed. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, that's the first thing I want. I'm just using this page for information on this post. Second thing is the cryptocurrency idea, Gary Bucks, I still want to do, and I've been putting it out there that it's not like Bitcoin. It's like Bitcoin, but what I don't like about Bitcoin, which makes it like any other currency, people just talk about it in terms of, oh, I've got some, I'm fucking loaded. Right? So this is, I want, you can, with Ethereum and Bitcoin, you can do another currency off their existing thing that, if, you know, fucking Bitcoin people know what I'm talking about, programmers. You can just create your own fucking cryptocurrency these days and you just call it another name and then, you know, the only difference is your ability to market it. So I've had a few people contact me about my idea. Now, I basically just want an expiry date in the blockchain. That's it. I want to know whether it after a month the money can expire so the money doesn't go out of the system it goes to someone else you can nominate someone else where it goes to or you spend it so there's no accumulating Gary Buck so I've had a few people crypto people going yeah well I've done my own cryptocurrency and I've just gone mate can you do an expiry date in the blockchain and they're going they're basically just segueing into mate you've got this big site can you advertise our fucking shit our fucking fucking crypto dollars um, and it's like no, mate, I, I, I want to find out whether you can, you know, and then they go, oh, we raise money for charity. Couldn't give a fuck. I just want to know, is there anyone out there who knows how to put an expiry date in the blockchain? And these guys sort of promise that they can do something, but they never get back, whether it's because they can't do it or not. But, you know, is there, if, if you can't do it off the existing cryptocurrencies, can, is there any programmer out there? It might be a big job, but is there any programmer out there who can create a cryptocurrency, Gary Bucks, with an expiry date in the blockchain after a month? That's all I'm asking. Um, you know, and if you're really fucking expensive, still fucking contact me. Just let me know if it's possible. The soul of all these crypto people is, you know, that the spirit that sort of kicked this off is decentralization and transparency so if, if someone's out there who wants that most of the programmers are now are just wanting to get in bottom level entry into something that's going to go big so this is not going to be something that I make money out of or anyone does it's just a resource creating currency you can't you don't accumulate it because of the expiry date in the blockchain so if anyone knows about that send in some info to me you can do it privately or you know in the comment section and the third thing is, I still want to do the Gary the Goat party. Do you reckon it really matters if the Gary the Goat party has got a goat that's alive or dead? Oh, not really. So, still want to do the Gary the Goat party. I'm just looking for um, someone who can help me. And I had this last election and they were from Asia. So I'm open to hacking here, but fuck it, I'll put it out there again. Is there anyone who can help me get this through the Australian Electoral Commission? Like a a hardcore back-end administrator. N none of the political parties will help me because they go, well, fucking why should we help another political party? Fair enough. Just so, uh, just a back-end administrator. So, yeah, I'm on Mission Beach in Queensland now. There's probably not many, there might be a backyard engine tinkerer here, but probably not many cryptocurrency or hardcore administrators for setting up a political party. So uh, I'm putting it out on the net, using Gary's reach for that. that that's all this post is. Who knows anything about water engines? Who knows anything about creating a cryptocurrency with a, an expiry date in the blockchain? And who can help me set up the Gary the Goat political party? It's a fucking weak field, man. It's a weak field. And these are the ideas we're going to put out. Currency that's asset-based, not debt-based, plus interest, where you have to pay it back through national debt and taxes, debt slavery. And cool technologies, water engines man, if it's possible, let's fucking put all our brains together. Anyway, I'm crapping on, uh, let us know what you reckon. Oh, yeah.